It's another beautiful day here in the Land of Lakes. We're well into November, around November the 7th, and uh, starting to snow a little bit. There's snow in the air. So I'm still sitting here in front of these two cuckoo clocks, or grandfather clocks, because these days uh, we're busy sorting out the biblical system of marking time, God's system of marking time, with the Roman system that was forced on us uh, thousands of years ago. But most calendars now, they have the new moons on them, the new moons and the full moons and the quarterlies. So we can uh, sort things out, match things up, and of course we have to go from the new moon and the full moon sighted from uh, Jerusalem, Mount of Olives area. But today we're mainly talking about Leviticus 25 and uh, 26. Of course, Leviticus 25 says, uh, you know, if we keep God's system, keep his rules, his laws, on the sixth, sixth year, He'll pour out a blessing on us, a, a triple harvest, a triple harvest year before the Sabbath year. So it's not only just for farmers, but it's for all of his people who keep his system of marking time will have a supernatural income to get through the Sabbath year, the year of rest, with great joy. And of course, at this time, right after the Sabbath year, we're running into a jubilee year and both start and end on the high sabbath the seventh trumpet the seventh new moon the seventh day so it also says in leviticus 25 going on to 26 if we uh, do all his judgments keep all his rules his holy days, his Sabbaths, he will grant us a blessing. Everything we do, everything we say will be blessed. And our enemies that rise up against us, they will be turned away. Ten of us will put away hundreds, and hundreds of us will put away thousands. So more or less, their swords will enter into their own hearts and their bows will break. That's what happens to anybody that goes against uh, the kingdom of God. Their swords enter into their own hearts and their bows break. So it's very important to keep the Sabbath year, a year of rest, when all loans are returned, all debts are forgiven at the last day on the seventh new moon the day of trumpets, the seventh trumpet, the seventh day. And of course on uh, Jubilee year, it's a year when all land is returned to its rightful owners. The last Jubilee year was around 1967 on the Roman calendar. And after the Six Day War, of course Jerusalem was returned to uh, Israel. So it's a time of great joy. We're in the Sabbath year, and we can be like the Bereans, search the scriptures daily to prove all things, and to uh, mend any hard feelings we have between us, between God's people, and to do uh, lots of extra Bible study, search the scriptures daily to prove all things like the Bereans. So enjoy the Sabbath year and uh, of course after the Sabbath year we'll probably have a double, triple harvest to get through the uh, Jubilee year. So take care and enjoy this uh, snow, a little bit of snow that's coming. Of course also in Leviticus 26 later on the last part of Levit Leviticus 26, it says that if we don't do God's, all his ways, 
we don't keep his holy days, his Ten Commandments will be overrun and destroyed. So it could be a year of vengeance before the kingdom of God is set up for his people, mainly for the 144,000 that have the Father's name written in their foreheads and have the double portion of the Holy Spirit there, baptized with the double portion. So it could be a time when uh, we are set up, God's people are set up to go to a place of final training or a place of safety on this planet, probably in the west because the shadow of prophecy moves from the east to the west. The sun rises in the east and sets in the west. That's why God's messenger from the east with the seal of the living God is dressed with a cowboy hat in western garb. As it says in uh, the scriptures, I will send my messenger and he will prepare the way before me and the God whom you seek will suddenly come to his temple, even the messenger of the covenant whom you delight in. It's that in the book of Malachi. It also says, also says uh, put all your tithes and offerings into the storehouse that there may be meat in my house and I will pour out a blessing that you won't be able to hold it all. So tithes and offerings are mainly for the poor, to feed the poor, we're no good without food. Of course, we need physical food before we can consume spiritual food. So it's a time of great joy. We're in the Sabbath year, a year of rest, when the farmer's fields are supernaturally regenerated and our bodies are supernaturally regenerated. Yeah, I still have my little sheepdog, Toby, sitting on my lap. His summer coat is growing in. In the summer, when he's shaved down, he looks just like a mouse. But when his uh, cold weather coat has grown in, he looks like a miniature uh, old English sheepdog. You can see him here. He's starting to fill out again. He gains about two-thirds of his size when he has his uh, winter coat. Anyway, the Sabbath year is a year of great joy because we're regenerated at the cellular level. Our bodies are regenerated as well as the farmer's fields who uh, keep the biblical system of marking time and all the health problems we've developed over the past six years are supernaturally healed during the Sabbath year as well as our uh, financial situations are healed and of course at the end of the year all loans are forgiven all debts are forgiven and we all get a fresh start spiritually, physically and financially. So it's a time of great joy, a time of healing, a time to do lots of extra Bible study and uh, a time to uh, mend up perhaps uh, hard feelings we've developed with, with our uh, fellow believers and neighbors. So we're getting into some cold weather now. The snow is starting to uh, fall a little bit. And uh, of course, those of us who heat with wood are perhaps still uh, cutting wood, splitting wood. And as uh, prophecy people say, they're expecting uh, some major problems to occur in the world at this time because it could be a year of vengeance before the kingdom of God is set up for God's people. 
as it says in uh, Revelation 12, the woman is given two wings of a great eagle that she flies into the wilderness, into her place, a place prepared of God. So uh, we can expect the world to be in turmoil while we're in a year of rest. We're in the opposite uh, situation because we have the double portion of God's Holy Spirit in us, working with us. And of course, we're in the Spirit mostly on the seventh day, God's Sabbath day, the seventh new moon, the high Sabbath, the day of trumpets, the day of the seventh trumpet, when the Sabbath year starts and ends, and the uh, Jubilee year starts and ends. And of course, this year it's Thursday. We know by counting three days and three nights from the full moon on the Passover, on the days of un unleavened bread, we come to uh, the weekly Sabbath. The Resurrection Day is always on the weekly Sabbath. And uh, of course we count three days and three nights on the days of unleavened bread right after the Sabbath or the uh, Passover at sunset, the days of unleavened bread start. And uh, we can verify this by going to the seventh new moon. It occurs on the same day, Thursday this year. So it's a time of great joy for God's people. And of course, the kingdom of God, heaven is set up for his people first and then to the world in general from the Mount of Olives at a later date after God's people are taken to a place of final training, a place of safety. And at this time we'll see the two witnesses in Jerusalem prophesying and preaching for three and a half years. Or as it says in Daniel, the final Shavuah or seven year period uh, Daniel 10, I think it is, when he talks about the 70-week prophecy, 70 weeks of years, or Shavuos, 69 have already occurred, and at this time it could be the beginning of the final Shavuah, the final seven-year period, when the beast sets up his kingdom, the beast and the false prophet. And of course, it will be prosperous for the first three and a half years and then the last three and a half years it will be, uh, it will go dramatically negative when everybody who doesn't take the mark of the beast won't be able to buy and sell. Of course God's people know what the mark is, 666 or the day of worship that is forced on us, Sunday worship. That's a lie in uh, Europe right now, as I understand. Mainly in uh, Italy, where the Vatican is located. Of course, Vatican City is a separate country altogether, but uh, it's illegal to work on Sunday. If you do, you can receive a, a major fine. Even to get your car towed is illegal on Sunday. So the mark of the beast is in their foreheads and in their hands, of course the right hand, that's the hand we mainly work with, and in the forehead that's our mind, that's uh, how we think, that's how we work, that's how we motivate ourselves every day. Of course we're constantly being uh, enveloped by the Roman system of marking time, our, our clocks that's why I'm sitting here in front of these two cuckoo clocks or grandfather clocks because that's how we think, that's how we uh, organize our day is around the Roman system of marking time, the days end and start at midnight and so on. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, 
Sunday being the first day of the week. So we're basically, we're completely immersed in the Roman system of marking time or the Babylonian system of marking time. And most uh, Church of God people, I think, they go by Nisan, the new year they call Nisan, not the Aviv or the Aviv barley. Of course, if the barley is ripe at the end of the 12th month or developed to the point where it can be harvested in the middle of the month at the full moon for the days of unleavened bread and, of course, the Passover, then we don't add a, a 13th month. But if it's not a Aviv or a Aviv, then we add a 13th month. We don't use Nisan. Nisan is basically from the Babylonian system and somehow most Church of God groups have uh, developed this system, not the Aviv barley, showing us that we're nothing, physical beings, we're nothing without food. We can't survive without food. Without physical food, we can't even accept uh, spiritual food fully.